location in Odessa, Texas. So, on location, here we go. Are you having trouble locating that perfect apartment here in the Midland, Odessa area? Well, I have four easy steps for you. We're so excited to be here. So, are you having problems? Are you living in an abandoned car in a random parking lot? Well, let me just tell you something. Step number one, this is the best step yet. Do the New York, Brooklyn thing, okay? So, just, uh, what is it here? Oh yeah, you go and you, uh, start with the New York. Okay, and to tell you again, step number two, okay? Just go knock on somebody's door and tell them that their place is haunted. Oh my goodness, but not just any kind of haunting. Like, it has to be a really dark and depressing haunting, okay? Like, the kind of stuff you see in The Exorcist, like the head spinning around, I need an old priest and a young priest kind of thing. Okay, so here it is, step number three, okay? Um, if there are old people living in an apartment, just go knock on the door and scare the hell out of them. It'll make them get out, you know, it'll work, okay? And finally, step number four. What? What is this? And finally, step number four. Just find a really stupid pond on the street and just go up to her and say, This is not your apartment. You do not want to live here. Just, just move. Let's do that again. Oh, okay. You, okay. Just a step forward. You're not going up on the street. You're going to their apartment. And, and finally, step number four. Just go walk across the street. Go to someone's home. Hopefully it's some dumb blonde who doesn't know any better. Just knock on the door. Take the keys. Walk in. Just talk to her and say, You don't live here anymore. This is my place. You need to move out. Go away. Move out. Pack up your stuff and go. So, okay, everyone, I hope that these tips have been helpful to help you find a great apartment here in the Midland Odessa area. This is Auntie Debbie signing off. You're the best viewers ever. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. It's now time for everybody's favorite talk show with everybody's favorite aunt, the Auntie Debbie Show. <laughs> Starring Auntie Debbie. happy that you could be here with us today. We have a very special show planned for you today. We have a special segment on uses of 101 popsicle sticks. And then we have a health and beauty expert, Pat Blasky, who will be by for a special segment for our female viewers over 50, a segment entitled From Nanny Goat to Knockout in 10 Easy Steps. But first, we have that celebrated psychic and best-selling author, Miss Latricia Laville, who is here to tell us about her book, How to Put the Fun Back in Funeral. So here she is, Miss Latricia. <laughs> so, I am so happy to have you here as my guest, Latricia. Now let's get right to the book. Audience, doesn't that sound like just such an interesting title? I'm, a title like this is sure to get people's attention. So what was your inspiration for the book? Oh my God, I'm so sick and tired of going to such sucky funerals. I mean, people die. It's a fact of life. It's like grandpa's 90 years old and all of a sudden he drops dead and they call me all broken hearted and I'm like, Jeez, people, get over it. He was 90. They act like they've never seen a person die before, like they've seen a hooker in church, you know? I just wanna, I just wanna shake them sometimes, you know? Shake some sense into them, like, get on with your life. Grandpa's dead, and they'll cry and play sad music, and they're like, even Grandpa's up in heaven thinking, geez, it's a giant bona shrinker. <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, what advice does your book have then for people who are looking to put a little bit of fun back in that funeral? Well, stop. Okay, if you have noticed, I thought it was too high. I was really wrong. So you got our boobs the whole time? No, I'm, that's why I'm holding the camera up. Oh, my cigarette's going to run out. I'm going to start over. Can we get another cigarette, please? <laughs> cigarette, we need another cigarette. Okay. I think this is the latter half of the show. So to sing. 
Okay, five, four, three book have for um, people who are trying to put a little bit of fun back in grandpa's funeral? Well, <laughs> if they really want to know, they got to buy my book. It's $24.95 on Amazon.com. <coughs> Amazon.com, $24.95. It teaches you lots of fun funeral ideas like how to buy a stripper for your grandpa or a real life operation where you really do try to get those butterflies out of grandpa's stomach. <laughs> Oh, my favorite is Twister Funerals. Trying to get that dead body's right hand on green and the left foot on red. Oh, it's a gas. <laughs> oh, uh, when you're done, you just roll them back in the box, put them in the ground, makes for one hell of a day. <laughs> uh, oh, well, um, yes, that is um, creative. Um, so you're known as a pretty forthright medium. So how did you gain such a um, reputation? Well... Auntie Debbie, as you all know, I'm real. I don't play, I'm real. I don't tiptoe through the crap. I run through it, I wade in it, I play with the crap. I mean, if I see it, I'm gonna tell it. If I see you gonna die, I say, hey, you're gonna die. But, Bible says what you do in the dark will come to light. So, if you're up to no good, well then don't come to me, you know? You know what I mean? Do ya? Do ya? Do you? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you want me to respond? No, um, yeah, yes, um, I do. Thank you for tuning in to another exciting episode of Hoarders. Now, please be with us and tune in next week because we're headed to Odessa. We're going to have an intervention there to get rid of all the hoes on the streets of Odessa. Thank you for tuning in today to another exciting episode of Hoarders. Now, join us next week. We're headed to Odessa, Texas. We've got a special intervention that we're going to perform there. We're going to get rid of all of those hoes that walk the streets of Odessa. Join us then. Hello, what type of license are you here for? Driver's dog or stripper? Um, stripper? Take this form and fill it out over there. Do you need a booklet to study for the test? Um, how hard is the stripping test? Well, honey, how long you been stripping? About five years, sometimes for fun. Mostly for money. Wait, oh my god! I don't know why you're coming. What? Hello, what type of license are you here for? Driver's dog or stripper? I'm stripper. Take this form and fill it out over there. Do you need a booklet to study for the test? Um, how hard is the stripping test? Well, honey, how long you been stripping? Um, about five years. Mostly for fun, sometimes for money. <laughs> Take the booklet just in case. You might learn something. Next. In a new survey conducted by IFN.